Hello everybody, this is Gregory with 5-Minute Catholic Apologetics, where five minutes of your time may get you to the divine. Today we're going to talk about four pet peeves that drive me crazy in a typical Our Lady of Suburbia parish. Now before we begin, let's start with a prayer. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritui Sancti, Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, Secutoram Principio, et Nucit Semper into Secula Seculorum. Amen. These four critiques, I mean in all charity. And uh, sometimes I just like to do these personal videos, like check out the one of my favorite prayers I like to do in Latin, and also the, the Gregory 101 to go my, know my backstory if you're new to the channel. But these are four grievances or pet peeves that I have in the typical Novus Ordo church that honestly you wouldn't see any of these at, let's say, a traditional Latin mass congregation or parish. So let's just get to it. Number one, and these are in no particular order. Number one is giving peace before mass why are we giving peace before mass look a lot of these are the protestantization of the mass right we know this right instead of the mass being vertical it's just me christ me christ doesn't really matter who i'm surrounded by that was nice kind of basilica form pre-vatican II architecture and then afterwards we got the octagonal we're all a family the protestantization so the whole why don't you turn around and shake everybody's hand why you know, the president could be next to me. I don't care. Me focusing on the sacred liturgy of, of the sacrifice of the mass. Why do I care he's around me? So, so everybody's like, okay, nobody really cares. Nobody wants to do it. There's like, eh. and of course now post COVID, it's like, you don't even shake hands. But the, it, it, and also look, it would undermine the peace later on. It would undermine. Why am I shaking the hands twice? Right again, Protestantization of the mass. Number two. Why are we doing this to the choir after Mass? Now, I know some of you, you live in a different, different country, different continent, so I know some of these don't apply. But you'll see, again, really post-Vatican II, right? You'll see the, everybody giving the applause during Mass. Now, it could just be for, you know, the MC, the priest comes out in the middle. I used to go to a service where in the middle of Mass, right before the Liturgy of the Eucharist, he would do his joke of the week. He would bless the, uh, the, the anniversaries and the birthdays, and he would have everybody clap during Mass. It's even more egregious than doing the blessings and, and the anniversaries at the end of Mass. I think that's egregious too. But the most egregious one to me is, why are we congratulating the choir? Now, the choir's job is to make us participate in singing. It's not so we can be, oh, just be marveled by their, their beautiful singing. And at the end, oh, thank you, great show, like we went to the symphony. No, no, no. You should not be applauding them. That's their job. They're in the choir. It's like when, when wide receivers catch a first down and they're all like, yeah, Mimi, that's your job. Catch the ball. No. So in the old days, of course, the choir was in the loft, and so they were heard, not seen. Now in a lot of suburban parishes that are right next to the altar, and so it's all about no. Number two, number three, you know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say. Holding hands in the Our Father. This drives me crazy. It's not in the general instruction of the Roman Missal, which is kind of the handbook on how the Mass is supposed to be done. You saw this creep in maybe 20 years ago. And again, Protestantization. The priest has to have his hands out in that, in that time. Okay, but this, this idea during the Pater Nostra that we have to hold everybody's hands, where did that come from? Where'd that come from? And then you feel people like who feel obligated to do it, even though you know they don't want it. And I would never do it. I'd just be just looking down. I wouldn't even do it. I would not do it because I knew better. But again, it's the infiltration, the Protestant infiltration. We have to hold hands. We don't have to hold hands around the Our Father. The priest has to have his hands up. You should be doing it like this or like this, the old school way. And the fourth one, this is why I should write these things down beforehand, is the choir. The choir themselves... It's like, I feel like I'm still in 1971 when, when they rolled in the Novus Ordo in the year earlier, and I feel like I'm listening to Joan Baez folk music in most of these parishes. Why do we still have the acoustic guitar? Or you have the ones that have the electronic percussions or whatever, but we're still listening to Glory and Praise Volume 2. Why? You know, if you look at Vatican II, I think it was in Lumen Gentium. I can't remember if it was, if it was in Lumen Gentium or Gaudium et Spes, but one of them, it's like, the music, default music choice, still and always should be Gregorian chant, solemn music, organ music. But, you know, 
You know, I think about Annabella Bunini, the guy who rolled, rolled in the Novus Ordem. Uh, you know, we, we, we have these change agents that came in. And so we have the, the pop music, the mariachi music, you know, most places, again, Protestantization. So we, we need to make people think that they need to feel something in the music. No, you don't have to feel anything. That's not the point of the mass. But they bring in the bad bass, the bad percussion, the folk music, the piano, all this stuff. They want you to clap hands in the recessional hymn, right? No one's clapping hands. The music is horrific. Okay, the music should be like when you go to a TLM service, solemn, reverential, and with organs. Now that's just for, we'll have another episode of the bigger ones. But these are four. Guys, post in the comments, what four, what four liturgical pet peeves do you have that I, that I forgot to mention? I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, please hit the notification, subscribe, and share button. Share with like-minded people. Until next time, take care, God bless, and pray.